Good morning, Exonia families. This is Stacy Yearling. And as we wrap up this first week of virtual learning, I just had a few reflections for all of you, um, as especially as we move into our spring break for next week. So I cannot believe that one week ago I sat with teachers and I talked about the possibility of a closure due to um, COVID-19. And never in a week's time would I have imagined that we would be where we are right now. Um, I first just wanna start out by saying I'm so proud of our teachers. Um, and our staff are just digging in um, to the new learning opportunities to figure out how we're gonna make this virtual teaching work and do so in an organized manner that um, is effective and helps us stay connected with our kids. Um, so I just kudos to them. They've done an amazing job and I hope you have felt that. Um, but secondly, I wanna thank you for your patience and understanding through all of this. Um, as a working mom myself, um, I know how hard it is to be juggling all of these very, very sudden changes. Um, not only are there work adjustments to our schedules, um, but we have kids at home that we're trying to, to be teaching. Um, I need to feed them three meals a day. Uh, my house is a disaster because everybody is living in the same space. And it's just, it, there are moments where it feels really overwhelming. And so um, we can relate to all of that. And we know that that's what you're feeling at home as well. And so um, I just want to assure you that whatever you're doing regarding the homeschooling and engaging in the activities is fabulous. Um, these first couple days, we are just trying out some different things. And so we're really looking to you for feedback on how that experience has been. So please be reaching out to your teachers. Um, if you're confused about things, um, if you're not sure how to access things, um, ask them those questions. And we are more than happy to walk you through that because we want you to feel that you can support your kids um, in a positive way. I want to make sure that everybody understands though, that the lessons are designed for students to be independently working on these things. So the teacher has a lesson that they have made for all of the core subject areas. They're short lessons um, that your student should be able, your child should be able to access, and then a, vi a simple activity to go along with that. So if you're not seeing those videos or you're not finding the activity to be simple and it's just taking a really long time, again, please give that feedback to your teachers. Um, it, you're not insulting anybody. We're kind of learning along the way and we just really want to know how we can grow um, and best meet everybody's needs. Um, so we also understand that all, all of your um, schedules are not going to start at 8 o'clock in the morning, but you can be guaranteed from us that at 8 o'clock every morning you're going to get those daily lesson plans as well as any important announcements. So whenever you're ready to start that learning, I would just really recommend that you start with that link that is sent from the school. Um, open up that Falcon Flyer and you will see those learning plans attached in there. Um, so that's the place to start each day. And then the other thing I would recommend is make sure that you're staying within the recommended guidelines of minutes. Um, you know, for 4K through first graders, it should be one to two hours of work each day, second and third grade you know, maybe it's an hour and a half to two hours. And for fourth graders, um, we're thinking two to two and a half hours. If the work is taking you longer than that, again, please let your teacher know that. Um, it is okay to stop and say, this is all that we're going to do today. Um, because we also know that you have other things that you want to get done and you want to do. And, um, and we want kids to feel like they can self-direct in some different activities, the things that they're interested in learning about or um, hobbies that they have they want to they want to explore. So we wanna keep that balance. Again, if you're finding that it's um, not enough work or way too much work, just talk with your teacher about that and we will certainly be making those adjustments. Um, so in all of this, I assure the teachers, I wanna assure parents that, um, that we're learning and growing together. There is no right or wrong way of doing anything at this point. Um, we're, we all know we're all doing the best that we can. Um, we just want to maintain really positive relationships with our families and with our students because um, the end of all of this or the end of our, our school week last week just was very abrupt. And again, we had no idea that this um, virtual learning would be kind of extended. Um, so uh, we have spring break coming up next week. Um, teachers will be taking some time off. Um, to just sort of be with their families and, and regroup themselves. Um, and then we will be back at it um, the week of March 30th to start doing our teaching again. Um, so if you have any feedback between now and then, please call the school, um, or I'm sorry, email the school office at exonia at oasd.org or email me directly. I'll be working over spring break at yearling 
s at oasd.org. So um, families, thank you for everything. Thank you for all your support. Please tell your students or your children that we miss them very much. Um, give them a, a virtual hug from all of us and um, we will be in touch. All right, take care, be well.